hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a video about the lashes diameters curls and all that i had a um, subscriber or someone request me a video on an explanation on that so i figured it's pretty easy enough so i wanted to do it real quick um so i started i had already started recording this video on my other camera and it died on me and i don't have any uh, I didn't have time to be looking around for the battery, so I just decided to record this on my phone. So hopefully the quality is still good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll see them. Um, so I did start writing classics. What classics are, they are one-on-one, -on -one, so one extension per natural lash. So they're going to be a little more natural looking. They're more thicker than what you use for um, volume. So the classics would be considered the 0.10, 0.12, 15, 0 .15, 0 0.18, and 0.20. And there, I believe there is like 0.20 something, but I definitely do not recommend using that. Even 0.20 is kind of like on the edge because it is pretty heavy um, for, you can really only use those for people that have super like really healthy thick lashes that can support the weight of the 0.20. So I wouldn't recommend using 0.20 on everyone or just anyone. Um, and then, so that's classic. And then for volume, you're gonna have starting, I've seen like point, I'm not sure if 01, but I've seen 02, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. The 03 I've seen for like mega volume, mostly 03 is for mega volume. And 04 I've seen used for both mega volume and volume. And then the most popular for volume, I believe 05 and 07 are the most popular ones for volume. And then 01, some people use 01, but I mean the 0.10, but I definitely don't recommend that one either because that would be too heavy for a fan. Because a fan, you have to do multiple lashes to create the fan and that's thick. Like it's good if you're using one for a classic set, but if you're using multiple for a volume for a fan, I don't recommend that. So this is pretty much it. So you see classic, um, you got the 0.10, 0.12, 15, 18, and 20. That's the 0.1, it starts with 0.1. And then the 02, 03, 04, 05, and 07 for volume. So those are the lighter ones, those are very thin. And I mean, it kind of makes sense. So the smaller the number, the thinner they are and the lighter they are. So like the 02, 03, and 04, are the main ones you use for um mega volume because they're light enough so you can use more to create a bigger more dense looking fan for mega volume and then the volume of five and oh seven i feel like oh seven can be a little he on the heavier side too so you got to be careful with that you got to make sure you examine your client's lashes and see if their health their lashes are healthy enough to support an 07. I usually stick with 05 and 03. I use some, so even some people, you might want to use 03 if they want volume, but just not use as many uh, if you would do it, like if you were doing mega volume, just use regular volume amount for on the 03s, but still do a volume set with 03s because some people's lashes are even more not as healthy and they want a volume, but the 05 might be a little bit too heavy for their lashes so 03 would be the way to go um no matter what and then 04 i feel like it's a good in between of but not many brands sell 04 it's kind of hard to find i know there's a couple brands that sell like um the most popular one i've seen is soko lashes and then i found another brand the vis um they're pretty an inexpensive brand but i haven't tried their 04 so i've only tried the soko lashes um and then 05 and 07 you can find pretty much anywhere and then the most popular ones for classics, I use strictly only 8.15. Um, I do have some 0.20s that I've tried on a girl, but her lashes are pretty long and thick and her lashes can support that one. And they look really natural and pretty, real pretty. The 18s are in 18. I've been wanting to try those, but I haven't. They're like uh, perfect in between if you're not for sure that their lashes can support the 0.20 but they're a little better than the 15 i don't know it's kind of hard to say you just gotta know your la your client's lash health and see how good they are and stuff and then on the curls 
so there's so many curls but specifically i started training with c um very first online training i did c only for classic and then when i did another training they told me about d it was strictly d i think d and c but then myself i learned about cc because cc is more like in between so c cc and d that's how they are in curly too the c is the more natural curl and then cc is a step above and d is the curlier but there's even more there is dd which is super curlier and then there's like b before c and then there's like an l and then m there's a whole lot of curls but the more popular ones are c c c d and some dd so the curls that i use the most are c c c and d i've never tried dd or anything else but i know like the l curl is pretty popular right now but i think the more the most popular ones are just c and d and then cc is in there too but and those are the ones i use i don't really use c i have some but i don't prefer not to use them and then um t c and d are my favorite ones but that's pretty much all about those curls there is a lot and i haven't tried all of them but there is also another one called y uh, y lashes i'm not sure if that's the curl i think it is just a curl but i don't know diameter on much on that one i know those are used for classic sets and they're just meant to be more like fuller classic sets i haven't tried those yet one time that i saw someone use them i didn't really like like the look it just looked too messy or too weird so i haven't tried them um but they they're out they are out there so if you want to give them a try but that's pretty much it i believe on that um, all right so the numbers inside the packaging let me get this one out um so like on the on the thing itself it will have like this one's easy fan to be specific and then it'll have the with, when you see a decimal number that is the diameter um which is like the weight of the lash and then the letters mean that's the curl and then it'll tell you what type like if it says mix it's a mixed tray so like this one it has different lash different numbers um so all the numbers are gonna be on one side or the other. This is just, these numbers are just line numbers telling you how many lines are in the tray. These are the lengths. So this one is specifically nine through 17 lengths. You can see right there. And then um, that's pretty much it. And then this one is from a vendor that, from a vendor from overseas that are trying to send me like samples to check, test out and all that. So, I don't remember but these are easy fans like I said and CC curl and all that so it's that's just what the numbers mean inside the links and these are just the line numbers nothing important really just what you need to worry about are the links and then the diameter and the curl that's important too so but like I was talking I mentioned about the weight like I said it's kind of easy the smaller the number the lighter they are and once you get to when anything that has zero in front of the actual number those are for volume anything what starts point one and above is for classic so just try and keep those come separate and then mega volume if you're gonna go into mega volume i would only recommend 0.04 to go the biggest for mega volume down and then volume you can do 04 even though three for specific clients that have weaker lashes 03 above is for volume but 04 below mega volume only uh or you can use mega volume though you can't go higher than 04 for mega volume that's the thing you can go lower for volume but not higher for mega volume because of the weight because if you do too much weight on the natural lash you will damage it and it's it's hard it's a process to kind of recover your lashes you know so yeah um all right so that's pretty much it i hope that kind of covered what the diameter the curl the letters and all that mean and the trays and the lengths and all that so also i will do a little more in-depth video another time about how to measure the lashes and how to know 
what lashes to use to certain clients so yeah if you want to see that video give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and uh that's pretty much it i'm gonna have my instagram and i do have a tiktok for my lash account uh so i'll leave all that in the description box if you want to go follow and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye